Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the LCM function or the least common multiple function. What the least common multiple or the LCM function does, it will, it will find the smallest multiple of two or more values. Now let's say I have a value of 4 and uh, maybe a value of, let's make it a prime number uh, 7 like we have down here and let's try to find out what the least common multiple of that is. So I can just use equal LCM, hit the tab key to get open the parentheses or and I can just include that value, comma, and that value, and you'll see that it's 28. And this number would be the smallest multiple of uh, these two values, the products of uh, these two values of other numbers. So in the real world, uh, you might use it for fractions. Uh, there's a couple uses, and you might use it for fractions and see how to multiply this out. So if we look at this, if we say uh, the least common multiple is 28, well then we would have to figure out uh, what do we multiply this number by where this number multiplies that number times 28 and so basically 4 times 7 equals 28 and so we'd have to multiply 3 times 7 which would give us 21 and the same here for uh, the second value here uh, 7 times 4 is 28 so we'd have to multiply 6 times 4 uh, which would give us 24 so basically what's going to happen here now is this becomes 28 and then the sum of these two numbers is 45, right? And so we would just solve this out. We would go equals uh, 45 divided by 28, and that's going to give us 1.60714. If we wanted to uh, solve this and just double check our answer here, type equal parentheses 3 divided by 4, close parentheses, plus open parentheses 6 divided by 7, close parentheses, press enter, and then those values match up. So there's one way that we can use the LCM function in Excel is to help us solve fractions. But maybe another way that we can use it in the real world, and another real world example is if we have, uh, if we're buying hot dogs and we're having a barbecue. So let's say we're having a barbecue and we need to serve hot dogs. And if you're in that predicament, when we're in the supermarket where you go to the aisle and see that a package of a sausage comes to six hot dogs or six hot dogs, six hot dog wieners, and then the buns, the package of buns comes to eight. What is the optimal amount of uh, hot package of hot sausages and buns do you buy? Well, that's where the least common multiple comes into play. So the LCM comes into play. So basically, uh, this is almost like a fraction problem when you think about it. Just put in our function here. This is a very simple math problem, but what if this was uh, higher numbers? You know, what if th these were like different prime numbers. We can use this for like maybe ordering supplies where this kind of situation also happens. So let's say the LCM is 6 and 8, right? So it gives us basically 24. So now here we're saying the hot dogs come in to 6, uh, six dogs a pack and the buns come in 8, eight a pack. All we need to do is uh, do this. 24, whoops, equals 24 divided by 6. We just need to get four packs of uh, hot dogs and we just need to get uh, three packs of the buns and so that basically that helps us optimize uh, what we need to buy uh, every hot dog is gonna have a bun now so this is a real example very simplistic real world example but if you were ordering maybe screws and bolts and they came in different amounts per bag this is a situation where the least common multiplier uh, may help out. And so if you're creating spreadsheets to be able to do ordering and trying to figure that out, this might help there. So that's the least common multiple or the LCM function. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.